Hello Capricorns and welcome. We are going to be doing your reading. This is going to be timeless, so whenever you watch it, this is probably when it will resonate or it's a message for the coming. Okay, so don't forget to smash a like, share and of course subscribe. Take whatever resonates, leave the rest and we're already starting clearly. So these are your overall energy, okay, just to see what's going on. But um capricorns yes i was gonna say this um so don't forget to smash like share and of course subscribe down below okay and also if it doesn't resonate please go check out the other readings because your moon your ascendant sign any other things like that right now could have an effect on you okay so if you are let's say pisces moon go check out the pisces reading it could resonate around this time okay so you have a Authority. Okay, this is like an Aries card. Oh, look at the bottom. You have intuition, you have victory and success, which is great. So let's see what else we have. We have throat chakra. Some of you guys are needing to work on your throat chakra. Some of you guys here right now are coming into your power and speaking up about something. Okay, what else? Look at the thorns. Some of you guys are Venus signs. Around this time, what do they need to know? Rejoice in celebration. Okay, three of cups energy. So a lot of you are celebrating right now. You're getting out and about, you're having some fun, you're no longer staying inside of the house or cooped up. You also have here choices, okay? Something here about you needing to choose wisely about decisions you make or the path that you take, okay? In order to achieve foundations and achievements maybe you guys could be deciding to move out or you're looking at properties okay yeah it feels like you, you're looking for properties right now okay but um we'll see we'll see what's going on we'll see what's going on looks good so far okay messages for capricorn please we're gonna go into recent past then we're gonna go into your present and then we're gonna move into your future okay so let's see what's going on with capricorns recent past you could be dealing with a fire sign here or somebody with fire very heavy in their chart right now okay so this is aries leo sagittarius queen of wands could have been dealing with a queen of wands in the weeks of past your cards just falling okay we have the seven of swords in reverse i don't read reversals but Seven of Swords talks about um, truth coming out, no longer running from a situation, confronting somebody who has been lying, being deceptive, somebody getting caught out. So we'll see what that's about because the authority card could also talk about somebody here getting caught by an authority figure here, okay? Queen of Wands could be that person. Let's see what else is going on here. Tell me more about the current situation. So that was a recent pass. Ooh, we have the Empress, the Taurus Libra energy. You need to speak about the way you feel, okay? I feel like there's something here about you needed to express about how you feel. Okay, you have the Six of Swords, nice. And you have the Judgment. Okay, so let's move into the near future. We're already there. You have the Ten of Pentacles. Really good. This is about a new place, a new home. So some of you guys in the near future could be buying a new place, could be buying a new home. There could be a celebration here, a housewarming party. Then you have the Knight of Pentacles, which is your energy right there. What else? What else? Okay, you got an extra card. Do you know what? Even Taurus got an extra card. You got the King of Wands. So you have a balance here from someone who's in the recent past to in the near future. Okay, I feel like you might be starting to match up with this person's energy. Could be the same person gone from like a feminine energy to a masculine energy. But here we have the King of Wands and then we have the Princess of Wands, which is a page of wands. That's interesting. Okay. Could have a child with someone here. It doesn't have to be, but 
could be picking up on someone's energy here you have the six of wands and you have the six of cups you know what funny enough i had something like that this morning too <laughs> but I've, I've cleared these cards energy so um and you have the knight of cups okay you have the king of cups princess of cups the sun the lovers okay <laughs> first up from what I'm seeing here, this looks like something that's coming up in the near future, okay? Okay, I'm hearing something about the minute you shift from where you are, new opportunities start to open up for you, okay? That's what I'm getting from this. It's almost like where you are now is stagnated, stuck energy. That's why nothing's changing. But the minute you move, you shift, that's when the energy changes and shifts for you, okay? There is... <laughs> okay, let's talk about the recent past because um, I'm kind of getting ahead of us. I'm going to clarify and then we're going to clarify with the clarifiers. Your energy is right at the bottom of the deck with the devil. The knight of butterflies. Ooh, okay. Somebody here, okay thought they were smart okay let's just say that in the recent past somebody here thought they were smart they thought that they were witty they thought i feel like this person okay is like rude okay rude direct straightforward rude aggressive passive whatever i don't know it could be this emperor it could be the queen of wand energy here okay but the sound of swords is about somebody here no longer taking that bs from someone okay now take it how it resonates because that's what i'm getting from this i want to clarify this before i actually tell you what i'm seeing here because i do see there is going to be travel here there's going to be movement you're doing things based off what your heart desires right now at this time but it's calling for you to use your discernment okay about a certain situation so tell me about this queen of wands you have the moon okay so here there is something about you needing to use your intuition or somebody here has is needing to use their intuition okay and make clean and clear decisions i feel like you're dealing with something here to do with the law or there is somebody here who has done something and they're getting caught for doing this okay and this may be something to do with you okay in terms of maybe they've stole from you maybe they've lied um maybe they've taken something from you there could have been a contract okay which has been breached here okay how about the seven of swords in reverse somebody here is getting caught they're gonna have to return something that belongs to you so you have the four of wands okay so they could have breached some terms and conditions here in regards to the home i'm getting for some of you guys as well that you could be being asked by the landlord that you have a certain amount of time and you have to leave okay so that's pushing you forward to find a new place i feel like there's going to be good news here though okay whoever gets caught is going to be good news in your favor okay i have a pisces energy here as well aries pisces cancer fire sign you have taurus you have libra you have again fire sign um that fire coming through so there is a celebration here okay victory is going to be yours okay i feel like things are going to go into your favor okay we have the five of pentacles we have the seven of cups and we have the four of cups i just wanted to come flying out and i was trying to clarify this okay okay so for some okay capricorn you could have lost a lot of money okay trying to fight for a just cause okay well this person has taken money from you all right you are feeling very confused right now you're not sure which way the situation is going there may be a multiple of choices here that you need to make okay which is the reason why the current situation is asking you to use your discernment 
you're dissatisfied with the way things are going but what you're not seeing is that the way things are going is for your highest good okay so if you lose your current place now and let's say the landlord is saying you owe them rent and things and you're getting pushed out okay from a home or a situation or residence and you're getting pushed out from a job you know if this person has done something to you it is for your highest good and it may not look like that right now and the only reason why is because It's pushing you towards something better and something new okay where your energy will shift and things will work out for you for the best all right that's what this emphasis is in the current situation you have the hierophant there's a lot of spiritual lessons right now okay capricorn that you're needing to learn okay i feel like this is definitely spiritual lessons lessons especially when it comes to empathy when it comes to give and take when it comes to speaking your emotions there's new ways and new new lessons for you to learn okay with ten of cups here i do feel here that it's helping you to move towards abundance okay it sounds cliche but that that is how it is king of cups again is asking you to be emotionally available okay you could be learning something here as well from somebody who is a water sign here on how to be emotionally available and speak your mind speak your heart okay not to be afraid of the way you are feeling okay and maybe new ways of thinking about things you know um this is not necessarily breaking the norm of tradition, but this is more to do with the emotional aspect of things. So what the Six of Swords is, somebody here could be trying to heal you as well as what I'm getting, okay? So you may know who this person is. You have the King of Wands. Like I said, you could be dealing with a fire sign or you could be matching this person's energy. You have the Hangman and the Two of Wands. A lot of wants energy coming here with the six of swords i feel like you are moving towards something that you're more passionate about more creative about okay however there's something about you needing to just take a pause okay during this journey that you are taking okay so if you're deciding to move i feel like spirit's kind of like saying stop stop use your discernment because that is going to be your next challenge here okay which is to stop and use your discernment about whether this a b c d is the right choice for you okay and this can be to do with a job or a new business as well that you are planning on okay because the two ones are telling me that you see the future there you know what you want but you haven't quite grasped it yet or that opportunity hasn't quite come in yet okay so what the judgment is the world card we do like that and the three of swords okay you may not like the way things are going okay like i said you're going to need to use your discernment because this is a judgment call the hardest part is over now okay with the ten of wands the hardest part is over okay but you're not going to like what's coming okay in the sense of I'm just gonna get one more card for this three of swords with the world. One more please, just to clarify what I'm thinking. The Empress again and the Ace of Swords. Okay. It's not gonna be easy, okay, to let go of something that you have an attachment to, okay, Capricorns. But this is showing here that it needs to be done in order for you to move forward, okay? So there is a discernment here for you to make wise choices. You may not like the choice that you're leaving behind. However, it's happening for your highest good because it's bringing you into abundance. It's making you... I feel like whatever cycle is closing out, it's going to help you to become more clearer about your emotions and the way you feel and what your needs and wants are, okay? But I also feel like it's bringing somebody in into your life or something into your life. You're getting a lot of relationship cards here, okay? You're getting a lot of kind of like emotional... You're getting a lot of love cards here, okay? Is what I'm trying to say. Let's see what this Ten of Pentacles is for the near future. 
So you have the Wheel of Fortune. Things are really changing right now for you, okay, in terms of your home dynamics, work dynamics, and your finances. But they're changing for the best. When I see the Wheel of Fortune, to me, this signifies an opportunity that you must take, okay? That was a good time for it because and the wheel of fortune keeps turning okay so right now it could be that there's an opportunity okay that's knocking on your door and this is the opportunity you're waiting for you may not like it but there is that opportunity there that may be leading you to your highest good okay with that ten of pentacles i feel like it's bringing in something very good for you okay here's something about playing the lottery okay like scratch cards if you have those where you are because um you could be a look. Um, you have the Nine of Cups. You should really try playing the lottery, Capricorn. Or there is like some bonus or big money that you've been waiting for to come in. Because it's going to make you very happy. Oh, it's going to make you very happy. I feel like drinks are on the house. That's what Smart Coins is. Moving forward, let's see. Ten of Pentacles, again, you are really moving towards something stable and solid and reliable. You're looking for, for some of you guys I'm getting, you're looking for the perfect place, you're looking for the perfect job this time. You don't want to screw things up. Ace of Wands, you're not going to screw this up. I see in the near future that things are aligning in your favour. That opportunity, that door that you're waiting for it to open is opening. So even though it may not look like that right now, the future is unseen, but from what I'm seeing here, that wheel of fortune is changing, a door is going to open. Whether you see it or you decide to ignore it is completely your choice at this point, okay? Because there is such a thing as a free will, okay? So the king of wands is clarified by the six of wands. This is success. I feel like you're going to be recognized for somebody who... You're going to be recognized as somebody who is an entrepreneur, somebody who is successful, okay? Somebody who is determined, somebody who is creative. There is something here that you're going to be recognized for, okay? You have the fool with the six of wands. This can be talking about a little bit of a careless... Um, a careless energy careless in the sense of okay you know your ego might get the best of you and you may act impulsive and there may be like a blind spot okay so i feel like this is just kind of like saying be a little bit careful okay don't let your ego get the best of you but yes yeah, celebrate your success definitely celebrate your success okay because it is here there is new beginnings here there is a lot of travel showing here as well for you. a lot of you guys a lot of travel princess of wands we have the three of wands in reverse we have the sun there's no more waiting okay so i feel like whereas you were waiting you're not waiting anymore okay but i also feel like here this is a lack of direction on where things are going okay so it looks like here that you have a sense of direction you are being successful here but then there's something here that you may have missed in terms of a learning opportunity or there's a step here that's been missed which is making a future opportunity again there's that confused state again right so the empress again the emperor you're matching some of these energy here you could be mirroring someone okay it could be dealing with the twin but we're talking about like the near future when you moved away from this energy okay because i'm seeing the sun being here but it's almost like you're happy you're happy but there's something that is missing there's no future plans like you may be thinking this is what i want to do or this is what you're learning but it does feel like whatever you're learning as you move forward is not part of what you really want tell me more about this three of wands in reverse take out how it resonates because that's how i'm picking it up for, for a collective
Eight of Wands. There's action. There's forward movement, there's travel. There's even communication here that's going to make you very happy. But it feels like it's subtle. Okay, okay, I see what's going on. You're not planning anything. <laughs> Ooh, there's definitely changes in your friendship and your social circles. Okay, you're not planning anything. Back to the, the, the reading. You're not planning anything, okay? That's what it is. I feel like what you're doing is you're going with the flow. You are flowing, okay? And for you, this is what makes you feel good about where you are, okay, in the near future. So it almost feels like, yes, there is happiness, and even though it may be temporary, but it's going to keep you going because you don't really have a plan and you don't want to plan, okay? You'd rather just let your creativity just go with the flow. That's what I'm getting from this. I love that. I really love that for you. Things are looking really, really good. All right. Anything else? Anything else for Capricorns? Anything? Okay. So you have regret. I feel like this is that seven of swords. This person regrets what they've done. Okay. They may not be happy about what happened because they probably weren't expecting the outcome that they thought they were going to get or they probably weren't expecting to get caught. Absence. I feel like a part of me is missing without you. Okay. I don't know why I'm getting missed opportunity here. So just be careful. You don't miss an opportunity. Um, an opportunity. Okay. I feel like this is really just saying that you're kind of in the space of maybe having a little bit of this nostalgic energy of not wanting to let go of where you are right now your friends your circle okay because you know a lot of us can be very comfortable where we are right now but sometimes change is good for a lot of us and then you have four contracts a lesson that i learned from us will never be forgotten okay i feel like again it's just lessons that you're learning right now through your friends your circle where you are right now in life I think this eclipse is just going to be pretty much closing out anything karmic that we've really learned from. And if we haven't, it's just going to be a repeat cycle again. I'd be very careful, okay, about this eclipse that's coming up. Let's get some advice cards for them. Close the doors on karmic situations, okay, repeat patterns. Um, this eclipse, it's a good time to do that. Advice for Capricorn, share the gift, <laughs> share the gift, I'm part of for here, I feel like a lot of you guys are needing to work on your emotions, okay, carry the torch for others to see, wake up the world, again, I feel like that's about speaking how, about how you feel, speaking your mind, One more for Capricorn. Okay, we've got two more. We've got two more natural healing power. So some of you guys are earth angels, you naturally heal people, okay? Um, and then you have don't fear change, embrace it and grow, which is what we we're literally talking about just now. Is about you needed to embrace those opportunities and those changes, okay? Because they're for your highest good. Also, I feel a lot of you guys need to just ground yourself around this time, okay? Because the eclipse energy can be a little bit unstable. But um, again, ground yourself, okay? I think that everything is looking great for you, Capricorn. I'm loving this energy. It's just, I love how you're just moving into a new energy, into a new phase. It's just great energy to be in. So, Capricorns, this is where I leave your reading. Don't forget to smash like, share, and of course, subscribe down below, and I'll see you guys on the next one.